I don't want to tear up in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna and this is a fashion channel, fashion that you can wear into the office, fashion you can wear on the weekend. <sighs> don't worry about the rack behind me. Um, I'm filming two videos at the same time and I'm not sure which video is going to come out first, but if it's not this one, just hold on. Okay. Don't worry about nothing behind me. Just hold on. We got, we got something good coming. Okay. It's been a minute, not that long, but it's been a little minute. And listen, let me tell y'all something. Seasonal depression is real and I don't want to tear up in this video, but when I tell you this past winter, it hit me the hardest that it's ever hit me. It, and I don't know, I was just talking to a girlfriend of mine and I said, I'm not sure if it hit me so hard this year because I didn't take any trips and I didn't go on any dates. I was not dating at all this winter. It was just me, myself, and I, okay? And I'm wondering if that was the reason why it just like hit me hardest. But I felt like this was the worst seasonal depression for me in my entire life, in my entire life. And I remember going through seasonal depression like a couple of years ago and I was like, I'm never gonna like allow myself to get to this point again. So. The last, the year before the last year, going into 2023, I planned that trip to Africa strategically in January. So that way, once like the end of November hit and it started to get cold, I was very focused on packing and shopping for Africa, which kind of distracted me. And then New Year's Eve, I brought in New Year's Eve in 2023 in the sky. Spent 10 days in Africa. And by the time I came back, got acclimated to the time zone and everything else, it was like almost about to hit spring. You know what I mean? So I think that really helped me. Times before that, I was dating. I was in a relationship. But this was the first time it was just like me. And it hit me really hard. I did not want to do anything. It was very difficult for me to like even go out and film a campaign. I would go to work, come home, go to work, come home. I did a little bit here and there. But my friends were just like, Shauna just ghosted us for winter because I just, I just was not motivated. I was barely holding on. So as far as content goes, it was very tough for me because the energy just wasn't there. The motivation just wasn't there. And if it wasn't like a campaign where it was, that's like work, I just couldn't do it. Couldn't show up online, nothing. This past weekend, because the weather's been getting better in New York City, the ground, ground daylight savings times happened, so the clocks went up a little bit. Um, this past weekend, I went to Tampa. We're going to get into the video. Video's about a haul, some pieces that I got into Tampa, but I just wanted to touch on this because I feel like it's really important, and I know that um, this will definitely like help someone um, or just let someone know that you weren't alone if it was really rough for you. Um, this past weekend, uh, Friday into Saturday, just one night, I got up, I have a friend in Tampa. I got up in the morning, got on a flight to Tampa, barely had any clothes or anything. Just like, I just gotta get, I just gotta get away. I gotta get some sun. So I went on, um, went down to Tampa and I was there Friday and I came home late Saturday night. I took the last flight out Saturday night. Please hold. I don't know who needs, who needs to hear this. I do not know who needs to hear this, but if you suffered from seasonal depression, and it's not like you had to be diagnosed, you, you know when you're yourself and you know when you're not yourself, I would highly suggest that during the winter months, you just make a plan to get away. If you know you normally take your vacations in the summer when the weather warms up, Try to allocate some money towards winter and just do something. Get away and do something. That trip did wonders for me. 
And in my head, I was like, why didn't I think of this in December? Why didn't I think of this in January? Why didn't I think of this in February? Like I, I had someone that I can go down to Tampa and stay with for a night, two nights, had an extra bedroom. And I don't know why a couple of weekends I didn't just pick up and go. So I say that to say, if it was rough for you this winter, um, if you're a person that lives in like a, you know, dark, dark getting up, dark going to work, dark coming home, definitely next season, try to allocate some money towards taking a trip. It, it just gotta be, it, I mean, you ain't gotta spend a whole bunch of money. It don't have to be an island. You know, just getting to Florida, getting somewhere where the weather's a little bit warm, where there's more sun shining, just did wonders, wonders, wonders. So I went to Tampa um, and I really didn't go down there to go shopping, <laughs> but I did a little bit of shopping. This video is going to just be some new in pieces that I got um, while shopping in Tampa and also um, uh, some, some little, little, little luxury, little, little luxury um, pieces that I got as well. So without further ado, um, I went to Tampa. My friend drove me around. It was just, I just wanted to be outside. I wanted to eat outside. I wanted to be outside the whole time. I would go inside and go to sleep, get up, come back outside. Like that's how I felt. Everything I wanted to just do outside, I wanted to soak up as much sun and vitamin D as I can. I saw the most beautiful sunsets. Like it was so beautiful. The houses, be like everything. Just, oh my God, I loved it. Restaurants. We didn't, I didn't have a really good time at the restaurants, but I did post a message up on my Instagram stories. And some people did share some good, good restaurants that they think that I would enjoy for my next visit. If you um, are from Tampa or you've been there and you have some really, really good restaurants, definitely leave them in the comment section um, because I will be saving them because I'll be back. Okay, I will be back. All right, so without further ado, I know I've talked a lot. I, Guys, I really hope that you stuck it out this far. I really do. If you stuck it out, we're at like probably like the six or seven minute mark. But if you stuck it out, just leave. Show me the clothes in the comment section just so I know that if this information was helpful or not because I know how you know sometimes rambling people tap out but anyway um so we were going to a restaurant called Goody Burger I think it was um I'll leave the name of the restaurant on the screen didn't love the food there um I did have shrimp and grits they put way too much seasoning on the the shrimps the guy was super nice he was like yeah that's a lot because I he saw I ate like around it and I was like I can't even eat anymore I'm literally like choking I feel like they dumped the seasoning on it so he spoke to the manager, took it off the bill. Um, I tipped him because I didn't ask for him to take it off the bill. He just did it anyway. So um, really, really great service. Just didn't like that meal. But anyway, when we got there, there was like a 30 minute wait for a table. So we decided to walk around. This was in New Hyde Park, I think, Tampa. Beautiful area. Beautiful area. And they had some stores there. Uh, the first store I went into was Made Well. And I'm going to be popping up the pictures of the things that I got. So... I saw this denim like short sleeve and if I'm wearing denim right now so I love like a good denim like shirt um especially like a nice like oversized really like thick one so I saw this denim short sleeve shirt in the window okay in the window let me get it I got two because I didn't know which one to really really go with and we were like rushing a little bit because then they called us for our table um but I'm gonna go with the medium so this denim shirt short sleeve I could wear it as a shirt, I could wear it as a jacket, collar, really, really good. They were having a sale time. I think the sale ends in a couple of days. Um, it was like 25% off or something for insiders, but I will leave this link in the description box. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And I don't own anything from Madewell. Um, I guess I've been sleeping on the brand because I got this, which I absolutely Love, love, love. Um, I'm trying on a size small, which ended up being too tight in the arms a little bit. I need a little bit more room. Um, and I also tried on a size medium. So I'll pop up both, both pictures to the left. Maybe you're right, but left of me. Um, so that way you can see. But I'm usually a size small in shirts. I got a medium. So I would suggest going a size up on this one. But really, really love quality. Nice and thick. Love the buttons. Pockets up top. I mean... Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm thinking of these with like camo pants. I'm thinking of these. I can wear these with some nice dress pants, some nice Frankie Shop Tansy pants that I have. Um, I can wear this with a nice long maxi skirt. I can wear this over a dress. Like I could really, really get my wear out of these. So I absolutely love this. This was one thing that I got. Also, these pants. These pants. Honey. 
Honey, honey, honey. Blue and white striped linen pants. Absolutely amazing. They have these in several other colors. If you're looking for just like you're low on pants, um, I would definitely suggest looking at these nice linen, like wide leg pants. They fit nice, they fall nice. And I'm thinking office, I'm thinking weekend, I'm thinking like a nice graphic tee with a blazer. I could wear this with the denim shirt that I had on. I have so many ways to wear this. They have multiple colors. I decided just to get the striped ones because I knew that I have several other pairs of pants that really didn't need solid colors, but if you need the blue, they have like a nice like burnt orange, I think, quite a few, but highly, highly recommend. I got these in a size four, which is my normal size. I did try on a size two, too small. So I would say go with your normal size for that nice like relaxed fit. Pockets on the side, little pleats in the front, but really, really nice, nice pants. Absolutely love. Okay. Next up, I have wanted a denim jumpsuit so bad, so bad. I have struggled finding one because the bottom's too small, top's too big, like it's always a struggle with me trying to find a denim jumpsuit. Struggle no more. Struggle no more. I love, love, love this. I am 5'7 for reference. This came long enough. I got it in a size four. I did try on a size two. The size two fit in the bottom for me, like really nice, but in the top, it was just too like tight. I didn't have enough room, so I ended up going with the size four. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I would highly, highly recommend. I pray that it's still available. It will be linked in the description box below, but I really, really love this jumpsuit. And honey, when I tell... It has a nice, very light stretch to it. You can see a very light stretch to it, but it just fit really good. And I've always struggled having like the, the butt look flat, you know, it just bulking up here. Like there's so many reasons why any jumpsuit that I tried on didn't fit well, but I really, really, really love this. And just think of this with like a nice little like lace camisole underneath. Nice tank top, you can wear this with sneakers, you can wear this with loafers, you can wear this with some nice heels. Throw this on with your bag, you can dress this up, you can dress this down. I mean, so many ways that you can wear this. I'm really, really excited about this piece. I I lucked up in that little store. I was ready to say, forget the restaurant, they can just cancel the table. We shopping, honey. Because I really, really love the pieces that I got in from Madewell. Um, I pray that the sale is still going on. I think it was 25% off for insiders. And all you had to do was like sign up in the store to become an insider, give your email address and boom, you got the discount. So really, really love. Um, you could also like cuff the jeans, just perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, now we went to go eat after Madewell and then on the way back we saw Anthropology was having 40% off sale items. So I went into Anthropology. Okay, first up, first up. So when I was out there, I wore my Citizen of Humanity horseshoe denim jeans now if you know me you know that i probably need to make like my top like five pair of jeans maybe it may even be more than five but i probably need to rate my top jeans because i really have some I, i'm a denim girl i absolutely love denim um the citizen of humanity horseshoe jeans usually average about 300 dollars a pair i have them in like a light kind of blue and then i have them in like a little bit darker shade now, I went out and did God's work, okay? Because I know that the $300 price tag is just some people like, I just don't wanna pay that much for jeans. Now, granted, people have messaged me and said, I didn't wanna pay that much for jeans, but I bought them because you recommended them and I absolutely love them. No one has gotten those Citizen of Humanity horseshoe jeans that have regretted them. And the quality, the durability, perfect, perfect, perfect. I am upset I got like a, oil kind of stain on the knee in my jeans and I'm probably just gonna like distress it in that area because I love those jeans and the quality is just 10 out of 10 to me, okay? They have them in multiple shades, white, black, and then multiple shades of denim. But these jeans, these barrel jeans by Anthropology, are half the price, okay? 148 and they do fit 
that barrel horseshoe shape. So I got these for y'all. Okay, you're welcome. I got these for y'all. I went and tried them on and I ended up getting them because I'm like, this is a definitely a affordable option to the Citizen of Humanity jeans. Now, these are softer, okay? These are softer. I just wanna put that out there. These are softer, so these are not as thick as the Citizen of Humanity jeans, but if you wanted to try that barrel shape, they got you. And they have these in multiple colors. They also have them in white as well, and I think a darker. Um, these are like the medium shade. These are 148 at Anthropology. True to size, I wear a size 26. I got a size 26 trying them on and really, really love them. And this is a really good alternative to the Citizen of Humanity horseshoe jeans, okay? They also sell, so I'm gonna link them both in the description box, okay? I'm gonna link them both. But I just wanna tell you, let me, get, let me show you my jeans here. These are the horseshoe jeans from Citizen of Humanity. So you can see the thickness on these versus how soft these are. But if you just want the shape and you wanna just get into that trend a little bit, Anthropology got you if you don't wanna spend the 300. If you wanna spend the 300, 278, whatever it is, then Citizen of Humanity, okay? Both will be linked, but I'm, this is for, for y'all, okay? Now, also from Anthropology, I also got these pants, which also fits that shape as well. Um, these were not denim, but these were very good. I just really love loose bottom. I'm not really into tight bottoms. Um, I really love loose like pants that I can just really get my wear out of. So I feel like this was a really good option. Um, and these came in multiple shades as well. So I ended up getting a pair of these. And I will show them, show me trying them on on the side. Okay, also got these in a size small, which is my regular size. I ended up getting these, but these were on like sale sale. So I wasn't able to really find them on the website. I think I found maybe like a size two and a size six on the website. Not sure if they're still there, um, but I got these in a size for these striped long like pants that I can wear to work. They ended up being $89.95, but I think like 40% off. So these were really good and I got these. Okay, so that was Florida. Okay, that was Florida. Now, I got two of my wish list items. Okay, two of my wish list items. Now, the Attico cut, slice, whatever you wanna call them, I don't know, but the Attico short slash jeans, I got these. Now, I'm very excited about these. They're a little bit too big. I got them in a size 26. I probably could have done like a 24. But I love the length of them. They come nice and long. So I'm gonna take them to the tailor and just get the top, like the waist part tailored in a little bit. Because everywhere else I kind of like the way that they fit. So I don't want to return them. Because I feel like if I get a 24, it may be a little bit more fitted and not as long as the 26. So I'm gonna keep the 26. I will link these also. These are my first pair of Attico jeans. I love them, I love them, I love them. I'm mad that they didn't fit perfectly because I don't even wanna wait for them to get tailored. I just wanna put them on. I really just wanna put them on. But um, these are super cute, nice backed out. Um, I had saw these for a long time. Um, I remember seeing them on Brown Girl Chi quite some time ago. I added them to my wish list. I just waited for them to go on sale. Cause I know that these jeans are not like everyday jeans. These are not like my Mason Margiela jeans. They're not like everyday jeans. So when it's not a, like a jean that I can wear a lot, I usually don't want to invest full price on them. I want to wait for them to go on sale. So honey, your girl was patient. She waited until they went on sale and she got them on sale. So I will be rocking them this summer. Okay, ain't much gonna be hanging out the back. Just gonna, ain't much gonna be hanging out the back. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't much gonna be hanging out the back. But I will be rocking these this summer. Um, and I will leave them linked in the description box now. 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 Y'all ready?
Yes. Yes. Did I need them? No, I did not. However, when you love something, you let it go. And when it comes back, that's how you know for sure that it belongs to you. Okay? Anyway, um, so I went to the Loewe store to pick up my white jeans. Um, and I showed you guys in the last video my white jeans that I had put in the wash machine, that I had ruined, that I had gotten dragged for putting in the wash machine. They ended up repairing them and they came out like new. Okay, now in hindsight, we know that this band back here is actual leather. Okay, this is actual leather. And when dry cleaning, if they're going to wash, this can be removed and placed back on. And I didn't know that cleaners did this. I did not know that cleaners did this, but they do. So now I know when um, taking these pants to be dry cleaned, because the white ones, I feel like you have to wash more often. The black and the regular denim, you don't gotta wash them more often. You don't have to wash them more often. Um, so these I won't have to dry clean as often, but I just felt like the black would be like, another all year round piece. The white is more like a summer white, so I'm, I'm gonna be rocking those this summer. But the black is like an all year round piece, could be a nice date night piece, you know what I mean? Like just, I just feel like it would really, really, really pop, okay? Nice pair of heels, it would really, really pop. Speaking of pop, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of pop, speaking of pop. I got two more things for y'all. Two more things for y'all. I hope this video not too long. I got two more things for y'all. Wow, look at it on camera. Look at it on camera. Ooh. Listen, look at this on camera. Look at this on camera. Eee! Whoa. I, I didn't even realize it was glittering like this. I did not Look at the heel. Look at the heel. Okay. All right, this, I think I needed to. Whoa. Okay, so the real real. I got these from the real real. These are a Louis Vuitton slingback. I was dying for a really good black designer comfortable shoe. I thought about the Dior slingbacks. I have not tried those on, and I've heard some people said they're comfortable, some people say they're not. Uh, I'm just all uptight, I'm all excited. So I was in the real real because I usually go in the real real just to go to their shoe section sometimes just to see what they have because I know my shoe size 40, 40.5 or 41. I know those shoes are really hard to come by. So whenever I'm in Soho and I have time, I swing into the real real just to see what they got in there. And when I swung in there, I saw these babies. I saw these babies. Look at them. Look at them, comfortable because the heel comes out. Listen, if you are not a heel person and you really just, like me, I could wear heels, but if they ain't comfortable, they coming off and that's it. That's one period. I'm, I'm not gonna suffer. It ain't gonna be no suicide over here. So if you struggle, try to look for heels that come out like this. This, I mean, see that? See that how it comes out you got to try to look for heels that come out like whoo yes girl girl and look at the buckle on the side look at the buckle on the side brand new brand new um they were also um in addition to like the price i think they were nice there was also like 10 percent or something it was a, it was also a sale on top of that so i ended up lucking up for these I was like, is the price on the website, the price that I can get in the store? They're like, yep. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. But when I tell you I needed that, I needed that freakum shoe. I needed that freakum shoe for my age and my comfort level. That's what I needed. And this hit the nail on the head, honey. Hit the nail on the mm -mm, mm -mm head. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Whew. Woo. Okay, one more thing. One more thing while we're here. Um, 
another black. I, I mean, we're, listen, I mean, it's spring is here, but honey, we into neutrals. We're into neutrals. I'm just neutraling on down. I am just neutral on down. So I also got the black Mesa Margiela cutout jeans because these are, listen, if you know me, you know I love, 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 love my Mesa Margiela jeans. Um, and I shared this on my Instagram story, so I wanted to share this for you. If you have the Mesa Margiela jeans, the blue ones, and you have worn them into the ground like I have, somebody told me, one, that there is a product that you can Girl, the, the camera just shut. Camera's like, okay now, you still talking? You still talking? Shut it down, shut it down. The camera just shut down on me. Um, if you have worn them into the ground like I have, somebody told me that there is a product that you can get. I will leave it on the screen because I did screenshot it. There's a product you can get on Amazon that can help with the phrase. Number, the, the phrase, is this called frails? Strays, frail, frail. I don't know what this is called, frills? fuzz I don't know I don't know um number one there's a product you can get with this but also what I'm gonna do because I feel like I've I've worn these so much that they went a little bit more further in than the actual jean was designed to be um so I'm gonna take them to the tailor and have them close it up a little bit so it can mimic this because these are worn once or twice and these are, if you see, these are like, we, we, we ripped, ripped on these. So I'm going to take these and I've, I've had these jeans for probably maybe like two to three years. I've worn these jeans. I probably worn these jeans a hundred times. I would probably say a hundred times. I would probably say a hundred times. Um, so I'm going to take them to the cleaners on my next run and have them seal them up a little bit so I can wear them a hundred more times a hundred more times um i think we're going to end it there because the camera's like okay girl the camera's like okay girl so i think we're going to end it there everything that is shown in today's video will be linked in the description box below i feel better i feel better it is literally 10 p.m at night i'm filming this video because the energy is just there and so is the sirens the energy is just there the energy is just there. So um, thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got some inspiration. Everything will be linked, as I mentioned, in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and just, you know, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will... See you next video.